Let's pivot and think about how we can manage our vendors and make sure that they're meeting our targets and we're setting them up for success so they're prepared for future work. Let's start on our dashboard where we created our producer and lead views and create a new canvas type view for outsource vendor managers. First, let's make this view visible to managers and admins. Now, let's start adding a few widgets. We want to be able to see a list of assets that we're waiting on vendors to submit. So, let's add a grid widget and display assets. Adjust the layout. And add a page filter Waiting on is vendor status is not final and outsource is checked. Okay, perfect. Now we have visibility on not only the assets we need to follow up on, but also the task statuses in each asset. We also saved and went back into design page mode. Just like this widget, we want to create another one where our vendors are waiting on us for something. So let's duplicate this one Rename it, add the open notes count field, and then adjust the filter so we're seeing assets waiting on the studio. Let's save again. Now we can see a list of assets vendors are waiting on us for and can see any notes relating to why in the open notes count column. Next, let's add a thumbnail widget to display our vendors. We'll filter our people by the vendor permission group and show active vendors. Then, adjust the widget settings to simplify. Now, let's see what's happening in the review world and ensure things are churning. So, let's add another thumbnail widget for versions. And add the artist, description, status, version name, and date created fields. Currently, we're seeing all versions in the project regardless of status. So let's filter down this information to only vendor submitted versions pending review. We'll add the first filter, link, asset, outsource, is checked. So we only see versions linked to assets that are outsourced. Next, let's limit what we're seeing by asset status. So we're not seeing any versions linked to assets that are final. We only want to see versions pending review by our leads. And lastly, let's limit the versions by the vendor groups that create them by adding artist, persons, group includes, with the various vendor groups we created on our people. Lastly, let's add a pre-configured task status widget and add a condition that shows us the overall status of our outsourced asset tasks. Let's adjust the layout a little and spruce things up. Then save. This is a great foundation for our outsource managers to start managing their vendors from, and we can make adjustments and tune things further as production evolves.